Julia is best known for her roles in The Loneliness of the Long Distance Runner, Dad's Army and Half a Sixpence. Born and raised in Lewis, East Sussex, in the 40s, she began her acting career in the early 60s with a flurry of film and TV appearances. Before too long she had landed a role as Anne in the musical Half a Sixpence, which airs on BBC Two this afternoon. The film sees Draper's clerk Arthur Kipp's life turn upside down when he stumbles upon an unexpected inheritance. He moves into high society, temporarily forgetting his former associates, including Anne, before swiftly realizing that money can't buy happiness. The film was a hit in the UK but performed poorly in the US, something director George Sidney attributed to a lack of actors known by the American audience. Outside of her acting work, Julia has a daughter from her brief first marriage to singer Lionel Morton, and a son and a daughter with her second husband Bruce Fogel. She has passed on her TV expertise to her son Ben Fogel who has become a well-known broadcaster and adventurer, famed for his outrageous sporting challenges. She opened up on her relationship with Ben in a 2018 interview with The Telegraph just after he had returned from successfully summiting Mount Everest, having completed the climb over a six-week period. Julia remained remarkably relaxed about her son's fearless attitude. She said, whether it's walking to the South Pole or crossing the Omani Desert, there's always a camera crew with him, so it's not quite such a worry. Whatever he does my husband and I usually both push him out the door, saying go on, do it do it do it. Ben has successfully rowed across the Atlantic Ocean, completed the six-day marathon day sables and raced across the South Pole, among dozens of other ventures. Though Julia usually remains calm and composed, she admitted she lost her cool in 2005 when Ben and Olympic rowing legend James Cracknell single-handedly rowed from the Canary Islands to Antigua. She recalled, We foolishly went to see him off in the Canary Islands but when I saw the boat I nearly died, it was tiny and flimsy, like an Ikea flat pack. I thought if a wave goes over them in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean they'll be gone. I didn't sleep for eight weeks, worrying and worrying. Alongside his sporting ventures, Ben has become one of Britain's most loved TV stars, presenting everything from Crufts to Country File. He first shot to stardom after appearing in BBC reality show Castaway 2000, in which 36 men, women and children were tasked with building a community on the remote Scottish island of Durance. Most castaways returned to normality after the project closed in 2001, but Ben has continued to work in TV. But, Julia revealed Ben was far from the man he is today when growing up revealing that he was very shy. She said, he wasn't sporty or adventurous at all. Then he went off to boarding school, Bryanston, which nearly killed us, but which was the making of him. Before then he'd been a bit overshadowed, he had two very successful parents, an older sister who was very outgoing and a bit over the top and a younger one who was very clever. But at Bryanston he learned to do all the sports and found his feet. Ben later admitted that his father's work as a vet had inspired his presenting career. He told the one show, When I came back, from Castaway, some execs at the BBC knew I loved animals, my father's a vet, I grew up above his clinic, and they asked if I wanted to try out as a presenter. Half a Sixpence airs today on BBC 2 at 2pm, 2 